Welcome. Today we're going to talk about records in C sharp. So Jasmine, what are records? Yeah, so records were introduced in C sharp 9 and they're a reference type that you can use instead of classes or structs. Um, and records are primarily for things like data. Now in comparison with a class, you would normally create values for classes um, so that you can store things like responsibilities and behaviors. But with records, you're actually storing data and specifically encapsulated data. Cool, so let's take a look at what that, what that looks like in code. Sure, so today we're working with ice cream. Yay, ice cream. Yeah, yummy, right? Yeah. And with ice cream, we have three separate records here. And in this first one, notice that I have created my record and also have created the properties all in one line. So flavor and color are string properties of ice cream. And you could actually go ahead and make your curly braces and define them in there if you prefer. But um, I like this val I like this way because it's all in one line. What do you think about it? Way more lightweight. I like it. Yeah, cool. I agree. So um, let's take a look at what it looks like when I print it to the console. So on line 16, I've created um, my ice cream records and I've gone ahead and used that positional, the positional syntax to define the flavor as pistachio and the color as green. And when I print that to the console, it actually prints out what I entered in. So I see the, the properties and their values as well as a name of my, of my record. Nice. So your console output that you have in your comment right there actually shows the data and not just like a random object type name nonsense. That's nice. Cool. Exactly. Right. Super nice. And, you know, another great thing about records is its capabilities with inheritance. Now, one thing I just want to make note of right now is that you can't inherit um, records from, you know, either like a class or a struct, but you can inherit records from other records. So in other words, um, what I have defined on line six and commented out is I've actually made ice cream abstract. So what I could actually do if I didn't want anybody to make a, a ice cream record from this base record, I can make it abstract and allow these other two records, nutty ice cream and vegan ice cream to inherit from ice cream. Because, you know, when you are, you know, some people have, you know, allergies and dietary restrictions and sometimes vegan ice cream actually has nuts in it. Oh yeah, you gotta have that protein. Exactly. So for nutty ice cream, I've gone ahead and done that same syntax with the parameters or with the properties to define um, a seed, the type of seed that were that it's that it has. And for vegan, I have the ingredients and I have that stored as an array of strings. Now, when I print this out to the console, notice that nutty ice cream looks the exact same as ice cream, except with this additional property seed type. Now with vegan ice cream, I, it looks almost the same, but notice that ingredients is a reference type. You know, we, that is our array of strings. So that actually prints out the type and not the actual values. Just keep note of that. Yeah, you got your type name back in the console output. Well, that's pretty cool regardless. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice. So I like that it's really lightweight, kind of like structs, but it actually has inheritance, which is unlike structs. And it looks like you're doing something a little different too um, with the equality on line 30. So there you're comparing two records that were declared like entirely independent of one another, um, but it actually outputs to true. Yeah, and that's because records uses value-based equality in, um, in comparison with uh, reference type equality. And that's normally used in things like classes. And I actually don't remember how that all works. So do you have an example of that? Yeah, let's compare and contrast um, our ice cream example with what a class example might look like. So um, this is an ice cream class instead of a record. And I have uh, two objects created off of that, and they have the same values. They're both pistachio. 
But when I use the equality ref, uh, yeah, equality um, operator on classes, uh, since it's using reference types, these uh, this would output to false. And you can see what I dot right, not dot net run, it, it outputs to false there. And if I actually create a new object, but I directly, you know, assign it to something pre-existing, and then I do the equality operator, it outputs to true, because that was a reference ah, type thank of you quality. For, awesome. Yeah. Thank you for jogging my memory on that. So I kind of like the value-based equality for, for data. That sounds really helpful, and records are all about data. Um, so pretty cool. Yeah. So if you'd like to learn more on records, you can check out our docs, docs.microsoft.com. Go to .NET, C Sharp, What's New, Tutorials on Records. Um, thanks so much, Jasmine, for going through that with me. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, everyone. Bye.